got here first to look at all these DVDs, right? And I'm finding all these games. And I see this right here. Look at this. What's up everybody on YouTube, Mr. Rightway here on another edition of Rebuilding the Video Game Collection Challenge. Now on today's episode, we are going to a thrift store that is amazing. This thrift store was having a dry spell for a while. Man, I shopped on the right day and you would not believe all the treasures are in this thrift store. But before we get to today's video, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. All you gotta do is free. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell. And guys, you'll be ready for all the videos that I'm upload. I upload every Monday and Friday. And sometimes I love to get a bonus video. You never know when it's going to be. So those notifications are important. So guys, without further ado today, we are getting ready to go video game hunting. And I'm telling you guys, you would not believe what we found. Let's go. Okay, so I got here first to look at all these DVDs, right? And I'm finding all these games. And I see this right here. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Oh my goodness, I was gonna buy that yesterday. Now, I don't know if that's GameCube, but let's see. Nope, nope. That is crazy. So I got here first, and I'm fine and stuff, you know. Wow. Well, it's a lot of VHS is in here. So I'll come around the corner and look at this. And we, and we. That is crazy. These are always cool to have. Lego Star Wars coffee. So many different toys in here that you might want to claim. Just keep it. <laughs> I'm talking about an epic haul, guys. That whole... I only spent $47. Guys, if I take all three 
of those rock band guitars to game exchange, I get my money back. Amazing. Amazing. We gotta go through all of that when we get home. All right. We gotta go through that when we get to the game room, cause man, that is amazing, freaking epic haul. I cannot believe all of that. All of VHS. I'm not a big VHS collector, but they are on the rise, guys. That's probably gonna be the next thing that people start going to collect is VHS. And there's some good movies in there. Ooh. All right, I gotta pick this Guardians of the Galaxy up. Then we'll get back, get to the game room, and go through all of that. And also, that GameCube game I got, Star Fox Adventures. Let's just, let's go to the next part. All right, guys, I hope you're enjoying the video game content today. We are finding a lot of great stuff, having a good time. But before we get back to that, guys, I want to show you something special. Now, remember back in the day of Game Pro, EGM, Nintendo Power, all those favorite video game magazines? Well, guess what, guys? Magazines are still alive. It's a magazine that's still holding on strong, and it's called Old School Gamer Magazine. Look at this, guys. This is issue number 24, and I'm telling you, it is so amazing. It even comes with a poster. Remember the days we get the posters? Look at that old school poster, guys. Look at that. Ooh, that is nice. I can't wait to hang this on my wall. But guess what? Me and Old School Gamer Magazine are teaming up to get one lucky viewer a full subscription. That's right, guys. So all you gotta do is comment below, share this video, and tell me why you love old school video game magazines. And I'm gonna pick one person. Somebody's getting a full year subscription. So I cannot wait for you to win that. All you gotta do, comment below and share this video. Now let's get back to video game hunting the right way, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, we are back in the game room. So you see I've got the box empty that had all those VHS in it. And here is all of the VHS that were inside there. Now, I am not a VHS collector, but these are definitely worth having around to sell or trade. This whole box right here was 20 bucks. But as you can see, guys, there's a lot of VHS tapes here. Okay, so here is the second part of that epic haul. As you can see, we got some stuff in the back. But let's go over these first. We got a World War II DVD. We got Jaws 30th Anniversary. We got this Coraline 2 disc Collector's Edition, Snow White, and Conan the Barbarian. I could not believe I found a copy of Star Fox Adventures on the GameCube inside of that thrift store. Then I saw Yoshi's Woolly World. It didn't have the game in it, so it was okay. Minecraft had the game in it. And all these Xbox games. I don't do a lot of original Xbox collecting, but man, just to get these right here, I'm definitely would keep these in the collection or trade trade them if I already have them. Your Hot Pursuit, Star Wars Old Republic, Deck of Sports, Rabbits, and Halo Wars. Then a Wii Motion Plus controller, about three nunchucks, and a GameCube GameStop controller. Then let's talk about this Guitar Hero guitars right here, guys. Each one of these at Game Exchange is $15. So right here is my money back for all the VHSs and for all the games I got today. That is amazing. And why I got these right, these are the, you see right here, most of the time the Xbox 360 version are, are worth more because they have the Bluetooth technology that connects right to the Xbox 360. The Wii one, which all you need is a Wii mode. All of this, and it was like $5.99, but they just threw me a bundle deal. Just threw me a bundle deal for everything. So that was amazing. I'm happy to have all that. That was a huge, huge find today. What I tell you guys, that thrift store was amazing. They had everything in there today that I like picking up. They even had a box full of VHS. And I still have some of those. So if you're looking for VHS, hit your boy up because I would definitely try to sell something to you. The GameCube collection, guys, is growing. Star Fox Adventures. Man. And this was only three bucks. Wow. Dinosaur Planet, which it was called or it was going to be. But so happy to have this in the collection again. Now the Guitar Hero guitars, we are going to take those to Game Exchange and trade those for cash. So let's take a look at that. 
All right, so these three right here, how much is each of these right here, these three? So both of the PS2 Guitar Hero Les Paul wirelesses are $16.50 in cash or $22 in store credit. Mm -hmm. The Wii Remote Plus is $8 in cash or $10 in store credit. GTA 5 for PS3 is $1.50 in cash or $2 in store credit. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic for Xbox Original is $1.75 in store credit or $0.90. Cents. The Wii one is $12 in cash or $16 in store credit. All right, so we got a lot of great cash for those guitars. Now guys, I don't know if it's still going on, but Walmart had a deal where they were clearing out a lot of their PS3, PS4, PS5, Xbox, Xbox 360. Yeah, they still had these PS3 and Xbox 360 games. And they were doing it for like three to four, sometimes three cents, sometimes a dollar. It just depends on what you want. So this next section, I'm gonna show you what games I got. And then I'm gonna take those games, flip that, and try to get something pretty cool for the collection. Let's take a look. All right, so the Walmart sale is going on again. Usually it happens two or three times a year. They're making out, taking out old stock, but this is the first time they had PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X games, which the games are right up in here, as you saw. So now I am looking for some soup to eat on. That was amazing, right? Walmart had those clearance games. And people ask me a lot, how do you know when to find those deals? I really don't know when to find them, but I do check social media a lot. I check Facebook groups, I do check Twitter, and I do check Instagram. And people will put out, hey, Walmart is doing this, GameStop is doing this. You might wanna check into this and see what they got going on. At the recording of this video, GameStop is doing another 50% trade credit so guys you see this right now go gather some of your games they're doing wii 360 ps4 xbox one they even taking wii controllers xbox 360 controls and ps3 controls and give you 50 percent i know a lot of people don't too much like to care for gamestop but guys i'm telling you this is the time right now. I don't know when it's gonna end it seems like to me they're gathering all these games and trades and controllers for the holiday season. This is the time to make some cash or credit. As you see, I took all those Walmart clearance games and got so much credit. Now I didn't show the credit on this video, but guys, <laughs> I was able to buy a lot of pretty cool stuff. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget, I'm gonna give a old school gamer magazine yearly subscription to one viewer. The details will be in the description guys we'll give this away to some lucky view let me know if you would like something like this okay so with that being said guys make sure you take care of yourself and each other and always remember to do it the right way and magazines are back baby i'll see you next time guys take care <laughs>